Hey, friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's the continued quest for New England-style IPAs. Bokanon is a 7% American IPA from Creston Brewery in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Another first for the channel, my first beer from Creston Brewery. And this is a New England style IPA that I'm really looking forward to trying. I have one other Creston beer in my fridge, which is a Czech style Pilsner, but come on, I think a New England style IPA is a little bit more of the interesting choice. So let's take a look at the can, the label, and then we'll get to pouring and tasting and talking. This is from Creston Brewing Company or Brewery, which like I said, is in Grand Rapids. Uh, and on the can here, it has a pink, pink flamingo and Creston's kind of uh, logo, which is, it says Creston Brewery within these plants, uh, hot plants with some buds hanging down. This says Bokanon Any IPA. And uh, like I said, the flamingo, it has some, some flowers on the side here, which I'm unable to identify because I'm horrible at identifying flowers of any type and uh hey it has it has leaves or something on it so i guess it's a plant um this says on the side here really small has this like maze kind of pattern above it has like a almost like sprinkles or confetti and this uh kind of like a waveform or like a topographical 3d wireframe um with some Illuminati uh, imagery, a an inverted triangle, uh, uh, the evolution of man from, from chimp to, uh, I don't know, Homo erectus and a guy carrying, a, a, I'm going to guess, a Creston Brewery flag and uh, the state of Michigan here. Lots of stuff going on here. But it does say soft, juicy, tropical, and let me know. If I wasn't looking at this can, I wouldn't know this. Mosaic and Citra hops in a very small print. And I'm guessing this is Creston's logo, which is two hot buds and a C multicolored. And on the side here, it says 16 fluid ounces, beer brewed under the sea in a golden submarine. And again, 7% from Creston Brewing Company or Creston Brewery, sorry. So I'm gonna grab my, whoa, almost knocked some of my other glasses over. I'm gonna grab my draft therapy glass here, available via an Amazon affiliate link below this video. And we're gonna go ahead and crack this open. And this is, uh, again, brewed and packaged by Creston Brewery, uh, Plainfield, Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, 49505, okay. So let's give this a little bit of a whiff here. Ooh, getting a lot of that citrus smell, a lot of that mosaic, a lot of citrus. A little bit of dankness, smells really good though. I'm looking forward to trying it out here. Gonna pour it in the glass. Coming out really kind of a pale yellow out of the can here in the glass, collecting a little bit of a darker yellow, almost borderline orange. And I'm gonna stop there so I don't over pour it. And I got about a finger's worth of head. Bubbles aren't super compact. They're a little bit loose. Uh, some larger bubbles are on the side, even larger bubbles at the top. And it is a, a white, it's not quite a fluffy head. It's kind of dissipating rather quickly. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's it's not a, it's, you know, it's one finger, but it's also very kind of thin. The, the bubbles are getting quite large. Holding it up, it's not in, it's extremely hazy. I can actually see my finger here through the, through the light or through the glass, you know, against the light here, but it's it's hazy. It's not it's not transparent. It's somewhat opaque. Let's get a better nose here. It has a sweet scent to it, a little bit of a tropical kind of scent. Maybe picking up a little pineapple, but it's got some citrus qualities as well via those citrus hops. The mosaics probably adding a little bit more of that tropical scent to it. But enough with the smell. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers. It's a little bit more on the bitter side than I would expect it. I was expecting it to be a little bit sweeter. Up front, it's very citrus. Citrus, citrus, citrus is the name of the game here, but it's not a sweet citrus. It's like a borderline, borderline sweet, but then the, uh, the, hoppiness, the citrus hoppiness kind of butts in there, and uh, the finish is very uh, kind of citrus piney. Um, I think the citrus that I'm getting up front borderline sweet, but also has that kind of fleshy citrus taste, like fleshy orange peel, or like orange zest, or 
almost borderline lemon. It's very, it, like I said, it's not quite sweet, but it's not quite super bitter either. So it's like right, it's, it's just kind of walking that fine line. This almost seems like it's a, I don't know, I almost think of Michigan, I, uh, New England style IPAs as being like, you know, generation one, generation two, or, you know, version one, version two, if you think of it like software terminology. So the first kind of wave was a lot of, you get some juicy, sweet ones, and then you get some that were kind of like, it's an IPA, but it's just got a little bit more of that, you know, fruity kind of taste to it. I can think of some uh, that I've had that are like that. I want to say that short slurm, original slurm was kind of a little bit more of a not so sweet, a little bit more of the citrus, but a little bit bitter citrus, more of that kind of orange peel, lemon peel zestiness, and not so much of the juiciness. This isn't really juicy. This I wouldn't call this juicy at all. If So if you're looking for a juicy New England style IPA, I wouldn't go for this one. But if you're looking for more of a IPA on that bitter end, more any, I'm sorry, more IPA than New England style IPA, this would be more in, you know, up your alley. If you're someone that's not into super juicy beers, if you're not into someone, if you're not someone that's into sweet beers, this one is more of a New England style for you because it's got more of those bitter, almost West Coast IPA kind of qualities to it. I, I want to say uh, Atwater Street Artist is kind of like that. This kind of reminds me of that. It's not super juicy again. It's just more more bitter, more West Coast IPA kind of bitterness. If there's like a New England style West Coast IPA, I would put this more in that field because like I said, there, there's not a whole lot of sweetness to it. There's a lot more bitterness than sweetness. And I'm not a massive West Coast IPA fan. So this is kind of, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I could kind of, I probably wouldn't be getting this one again just because it's not my thing. I like to go for more of the juicy New England styles and this one's more on the bitter end. All right, friends, that is Bokanon from Creston Brewery. Have you had this or maybe another beer from Creston? If so, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Michigan beer content like this because I'm doing this twice a week and it's all free for viewers just like you. You can also find links to my social media, my merch, Amazon links to some of the different gear that I use in these videos and a link to my blog at drafttherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.